Okay, hello everyone. So I'm busy with my first Neolint plugin. So what this plugin does, this plugin fetches my list of tasks from like a task management platform. In this case, Linear could be something like Jira. I think it's the most popular one still at the moment. And then the idea is it shows me my list of tasks. It allows me to kind of, um, how should I put it, search for the one I'm currently busy with. If I select it, then what it would do is that if the branch exists, it would switch to it. If it doesn't exist, it would create it, but it would create it off of develop. Now I've uncommented these three, three commands just like for testing purposes, because I'm the kit commands it's running is in is on the new them branch currently and if i were to do this i would kind of lose all the work i'm busy with um which i don't want um so to kind of give you a run through of what it does it reads a token which is like the authentication token to talk to the api it reads it off of a file um and then closes it up returns the token so we've got the authentication token now we've got fetch tasks so this so linear's api is a graphql one so this and this would be the query for viewer would be the current authenticated user assigned issues like things that i need to do nodes id type and identify the idea is like a sort of uid type identifier title is like the name of the or this the summary of what the ticket is or what i need to do um it's like the title of the ticket right so and the, the identifier is like uh the the pretty name of the sort of the ID. So this would be like LL dash uh, one, like the human readable, easy to quickly do something with. And the idea is we're going to use the identifier to create the branch with. Um, we submit a GraphQL query. We get back a body. We decode the JSON. We get the data. So we got data view as assigned issue notes and we get the data. So we've got a list of tasks now. Um, We've got the open picker now. So this is the telescope part. So we've got the prompt title, which is just tasks. So say this is a list of tasks. Um, we've got finder, new table. So this just says sets the results to tasks. Entry maker just takes the task identifier, title, and ID, and all those things, and makes turns it into an object that telescope can display um there's actually more values i still need to add here for like i would like to be able to add things like um the severity or the priority identify like icons and things like that but um yeah still to do's um attach mappings so this is for the action so this says that take the default action replace it by what this function is so what this function does it says well current working time directory um get the current selection create a branch name off of the selection and the it's going to be the feature selection value now you'll see the value up here is the identifier of the task so that would be like l-1 for instance um next thing we knew, do is check whether the branch name that we're going to um currently exists so if it currently exists the return value would be zero what we do is we just check out the branch then um and if we can't check out the branch, we just show like, hey, sorry, we couldn't check out the branch. Um, now, if it doesn't exist, we go into this else block. And this else block just says, well, runs the same command with by minus B. Now, minus B get checkouts. The minus B says that this is going to be a new branch. You're going to have to create it. Um, and then, yeah, so it creates the branch. If it succeeds, then we say, hey, we switched to the new branch. If it fails, then we go, um, I need to do that. So if it fails, then just as well, we, we show an error message saying uh, we failed doing this thing and then we just close up. We've got the sorter down here. If we use the file sorter because it seems like the one that sort of everybody uses just for sorting stuff. Um, just so then if you type into the prompt, it will actually end up filtering the list of tasks that you have so you can get to the right one quicker. Um, and then down at the bottom, we've got this fetch task with tokens. So get the token, get the tasks, return the tasks, and then down at the bottom is the function that we're going to run. We're just going to open the picker with the list of tasks we get from this function. We've got this ops, which is a, the options for, for Telescope on to, to say how to display the thing. So in this case, what we're doing is we're just calling task picker with like the drop downs options. Um, and that's kind of the gist of it. So 
Yeah, so if I were to run it, what I would do is just uh, give it the prompt and show me a drop downs and it'll show the list of tasks I work on it. If I had to select one, it would um, create a new branch for that task. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is I kept having to kind of use the console and do like it commands manually to be able to switch from one task to another. In the future, what I might do is like I said, as first thing is make this, um, make the display a little bit prettier, put this stuff in, make sure it works, uh, probably clear up some of the error handling. Maybe if there's anything that, that I'm missing, I haven't used this plugin. I've tested the plugin obviously with the development, but I haven't used it for myself for any period of time where I can say that these are the burning issues and things that I would like to add. Um, yeah, so that's, Okay, yeah, so, well, sorry, yeah, so one of the other things we'll do is maybe post up a message or task, or do something where I change the task status to something like in progress or something, if you run, if you, if you do all of this with the branch stuff saying that, hey, I'm going to work on this task now, meaning that it would be cool if you can be able to set the task as, like, in progress. Um, oh, one of the other things that I'll need to do is to make sure that the list of tasks I'm getting back here is actually like actionable tasks. So these are tasks that's in like the to do column, not the backlog column or does that make sense. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my first plugin that I'm busy with is just give me, get me a list of my current tasks off the like the task management platform and allow me to create Git branches for those tasks. Thanks. Bye bye.